Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at OpenRC2. In this video I will show you how to turn any kind of train into a power train. So what do I mean with a power train? Well basically any vehicle that moves on its own uh, without uh, being affected by gravity. For example the monorail, the uh, mini miniature railway, chairlifts, uh, but also uh, stuff like uh, monorail cycles, uh, car rides for example. Um, mini helicopters uh, and of course there's uh, log flumes, river rapids, uh, basically all rides that uh, that uh, propel themselves forwards. Okay, um, to uh, in this example what we're gonna make is, uh, um, yeah I want to make a ride like a like a steeplechase horse, maybe with a stagecoach uh, behind it as if it's pulling it and uh, yeah just want to have it go along a straight track without any hills or bumps. Uh, I think a powered vehicle would be great for that. So first off I'm just going to build a, a small track. You can use any track for this. Uh, I will just use the... Okay I've now uh, quickly made a random track for this, uh, for this ride. Now um, what I would usually do is actually put chain lifts on all the track pieces and move the cars forward that way. That is also a, a possibility, but if you set the chain lift speeds very high, um, it will actually mean that your uh, coaster will break down very often and the reliability of the coaster uh, of the ride will go down very quickly. So that may not, uh, that may not be what you want for your ride. Okay, um, what I will do now is uh, I will make it so that these uh, horses are actually part of a train that's a little bit bigger. So I will disable the vehicle limits and let's make it three cars per train. Okay, for now I will just uh, use uh, three of these uh, trains. So let's uh, quickly test the right and immediately close it. Now we have three trains of three uh, horses. Now, um, for for this trick, we're going to need the right vehicle editor plugin. Now you can find this uh, this plugin on uh, the website openrst2plugins.org. Uh, it's a plugin made by uh, Bussy. Uh, you should definitely uh, go check it out. This uh, plugin is amazing. Okay, now we go to the ride which we just created. It's called Steeplechase 1. So let's do Steeplechase 1. Now in order to turn this into a powered vehicle, we have to make the first vehicle uh, a powered uh, vehicle. Like the... For example, we could use the... Well, not the mine train. The, this is not the right one. We want to have a powered vehicle. I believe it's called powered mine train. Yeah, here it is, powered mine train. For example, we could use this one. Um, and when you choose a powered vehicle for uh, for one of these vehicles, you actually get some extra fields here like acceleration and max speed. By tweaking these, you can, uh, you can basically set uh, how closely uh, the ride will try to follow the speed that you set here. If you put the acceleration very low, it will have a very slow acceleration, but also very slow deceleration. For example, if there's a hill in your track, then uh, if you set the acceleration slow, it will probably uh, have a little bit of difficulty getting up, uh, but also when it goes down, it uh, will go at a higher speed uh, for uh, quite a long time because of uh, gravity. Uh, which assists it when it goes down. Okay, um, now, this uh, vehicle is visible, of course, that's not what we want. So the one we actually want to use here is uh, sports cars or any other of the car rides. Now, you can see a car here now, but um, yeah, the reason we want to use the car here is because the second variant of this vehicle is actually invisible. So now this train has an invisible car in front, then after that a horse, and then another horse. So for the for the second vehicle, well, we want it to stay a horse, and the third vehicle, I want to have a stagecoach. 
Okay, and there we go. Now we probably want our third. Uh, oh, the <laughs> because we used the uh, steeple chase here. Uh, normally, they only have uh, single horse uh, trains, so that's why you can only uh, color this. Uh, yeah, you can only color the entire train. So if you want it to be different, you should uh, choose a vehicle type which allows for all the separate uh, vehicles of the train to be colored. All right, I, I just decided to go with looping roller coaster trains um, just because I want to recolor all the cars of this train in different colors. So now we can just select, select different colors per vehicle and we will just change the middle one into a horse later. So, for example, we want the the first vehicle. We don't care about the colors because it will be invisible. Second vehicle, uh, let's make it a brown horse. So I believe the second color is the color of the saddle. The third color, I believe it's not used. And for vehicle three, the stagecoach, uh, let's just go with uh, brown. Okay, and now we do the same thing we did earlier. So for the first vehicle of the train, we change it into sports cars. And we choose the second variant. Uh, so now the front car is invisible. And for the second vehicle, we use the horses from the steeplechase. And there we go. Now we our second vehicle is a horse. And the third vehicle, we put a stagecoach. Now I'm just going to quickly tweak the colors of the third of the stagecoach. All right, now I'm just going to repeat this for the other uh, trains as well. All right. Um, well, first, let's uh, see what these uh, horses will do now when we uh, test the ride. As you can see, the horse and the stagecoach now uh, travel along the track at a constant speed of 6 km per hour. Now, we can actually increase this speed if we want, uh, if we go into the ride vehicle editor. Let's go to the first train, uh, vehicle 1, and we can uh, change the max speed. For example, let's put it at... Uh, Put that 50, and then you can see it will actually be uh, quite fast. Now, the acceleration is actually set pretty high, so it will uh, try to keep following that speed uh, pretty closely. Now, I can do the same for the other trains, and I probably should, <laughs> or else uh, this one will crash right into them. Another thing we could do is increase the clearance between the horse and the stagecoaches a bit. Right now they still use the clearance that the looping coaster used. And something else we could do is, well, the invisible car in front is now in front of the horse. So we could either move the horse forward so it sits on top of the invisible car. Um, or we could move the car backwards. That, uh, that could also work. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to move the horse forward a little bit and the invisible car backwards a little bit so they're on top of each other and so there's a bit of clearance between the horse and the stagecoach and I'm going to do the same for these uh, other stagecoaches that are behind it. Okay, so here we have train one, vehicle one, which is the invisible vehicle. It's actually the one here in the back. Um, yeah, I, I will start with... Uh, uh, the second train which is in front here just because it's easier to follow what's going on so let's do train two now vehicle one invisible car you can see it over here um, it's in front of the horse i will move it backwards a little bit you can do that by editing this track progress uh, field i will just multiply it by 10 to do uh, steps that are a little bit bigger so i moved it back 20 now i will take the second vehicle and I'm go just going to move it forward a little bit. And now I will just go back and forth between these, just to make sure that they're exactly on the same spot. All 
Alright, as I switch between these vehicles, now they're exactly on the same spot. So that means the front of the train is uh, is uh, also exactly on this uh, on this horse. So that's uh, that's probably a good thing. Now these uh, changes in track progress, I'm also going to do them uh, on the other trains. Now it's probably to do these best to do these uh, changes in uh, track progress as the game is passed, because you could see as I did these changes, the train actually moved. So, uh, yeah, pausing the game will actually uh, prevent that. Alright, we now have uh, these stagecoaches drawn by horses which travel along this, this track without having any chain lifts on the track uh, or, or anything like that. Now, uh, another reason why you may want to use uh, vehicles uh, that are powered is uh, yeah, the unique property that uh, powered vehicles in shuttle mode will actually turn around once they reach the end of a track. So, for example, if I take a, if I take a monorail and somewhere along this track we make the end of the track here. Then after that, the monorail will uh, will go backwards again. But this actually goes for all uh, powered vehicles. So, for example, it will also happen for uh, uh, one of those mine rides. So, if we take uh, powered uh, coaster trains, powered mine trains, let's put one train and let's put it in shuttle mode. Here you can see the powered uh, mine train. It now reaches the end of the track, and then it, uh, after that, it heads backwards until it finds a station again. Now it will keep going backwards, and here it will uh, keep going backwards until it finds the end of the track, and then it goes forwards again. I actually used this trick uh, over here in the park to actually make a coaster that will always go backwards. So as it leaves the station, it finds a track end, and after that, it just keeps going backwards uh, forever because uh, in this direction it will never find an end of the track. Alright, um, that's how you make uh, any kind of train, uh, a powered uh, train. I hope it's useful for you at some point. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this uh, tutorial. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later! <laughs>